58 degrees this morning. That's about 24. That's not right. That's about 14 degrees centigrade. Ah, the dogs, we, as soon as we came out the door, they all alerted on something. Something down there. All right. Um, whoops. We just had kind of catch as catch came for supper last night. And then I went back to role playing journals till almost nine. No, till eight. Then I read for a little while. Got a couple other things dealt with. Got to bed by 10.30. So I woke up around 4.30 to pee. I had a terrible time getting back to sleep. I don't think I'm much more than... Come on, let's go, let's go. Hope, come on. I don't know what she was after. Come on, Christy, come on. Christy. <sighs> I didn't do much more than doze the rest of the night. No, come on, let's go. Um, finally got up a little in 710. I had a couple dreams. In the first one, I was supposed to show up for a job that I'd gotten. But I wasn't supposed to show up as me. For some reason, I had applied to the job as a woman uh, and I was supposed to show up at 6 for this job and I didn't have anything ready like to dress as a woman I guess it was like a tootsie thing and I finally went to my parents who were not my parents it was John Goodman it was my father a very heavy set John Goodman and then a very an extremely overweight woman was my mother and I went to her to ask for advice She's helping my dad. And I look at the clock and it's six. So I can't get there in time. I don't have anything to wear to make them believe that I am a woman. Because that's possibly how I got the job. Oh, come on, Bella. And I woke up. That's when I woke up around 4.30. And it was just uncomfortable. And it was a job that I didn't know anything about. So it wasn't like I was looking forward to working at this place. It was like I was dreading it. Anyway, so I woke up. I was very relieved that done it. That it was just a dream. Come on, girls. Come on. The second dream, we were all a bunch of guys and I were in a room, a little white paint room, big windows on one wall. We all had a bunch of computers set up, like for a land party. We were all playing Hunt Showdown. People kept switching out my monitors, kept taking my monitor away and replacing it with something else, with a television, like a big box TV, with a little tiny monitor, all this stuff. I was very irate. Then James Brown starts plugging in these extra plugs. You know, the things you can plug into a single plug to give you like six? Oh. There she is. Hello. So in my dream, we're back to the dream. He plugs this in to turn on this, this special unit, this special thing. The whole room starts to shake. There was like this low, heavy hum that just made everything shake. And I'm like, he's like, this will add more realism to the game. And I guess it was some kind of thing that would cause the room to react to what was happening on the screen. And I was like, James, I have neighbors, we're in an apartment. You can't just have this going. He's like, it'll be fine. He was just like, yeah, no, they, they'll be fine. It, it, we don't have to worry about the neighbors below you. I was like, no, we have to worry about the people above because they're going to feel it through their feet. And then Brad Dent showed up. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's Brad. And I was so happy to see him. And that's when I woke up. We're pretty far away. I haven't noticed this yet.
Who noticed this? Seventy-four degrees this afternoon. That's about twenty-three centigrade, I believe. Somebody's down in the river. Come on. This morning I played some hunt. Uh, I was running late, so about an hour and a half for it. Got about six challenges done. Come on, girls, come on. Or six challenge points. Ran to a hunter the first game. Managed to beat him. Then I extracted because, quite frankly, I didn't have death cheat on that guy. And I didn't want to just completely lose him. Levering was very helpful. Oh, right in the mud. In the afternoon, I worked on role playing journals. I finished up the first draft of Company of the Copper Card Journal. I'm going to try to either get that edited and on Patreon tonight, or maybe it'll go up on Friday. That's it.